Hello, hello. Happy Monday. We're going to work some legs and glutes today. Um, we're going to start with just four minutes of a core warm up with some plank dips, some donkey kicks, some superwomans, and some bird dogs, and then we'll go right into legs. So I've got some kettlebells. I've got, since we're doing legs and glutes, you want as heavy as weights as you can handle, but you can also do this workout with no weights. So just wherever you're at. Um, and we're gonna kind of do a um, three moves and repeat that three rounds. And then we'll go to three more moves and three rounds. And we'll just move really quickly right through here. So let's just start with a warm up and a plank. You can be on your knees, on your toes. Three, we're gonna dip two, to the side. One, go. Just slow. Again, you can be on your knees and go side to side, or you can just hold a plank if that's better. We're just gonna do about 45 seconds here and then we'll transition. Halfway there. Really using that core, kind of lift up, dip down. Three, two, one, rest. Very good, bring it back. So we're gonna go into a donkey kick. We'll do half on the right Three, leg and half on the other. Two, one, go. So foot to ceiling. Bring it down, you're squeezing that glute. Hands are even on the mat. You're not leaning to one side. You're right in the middle. And just kick that foot up. At the halfway point, we'll switch to the left. Just getting some heat. Halfway there. All right, switch to the left leg. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're coming down into Superwoman. So flat on your mat. Hands can be out in front or here Three, at the side. Two, we're gonna lift. One, go. Lift all the way up and lower. Halfway there. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back up on all fours. Let's go into bird dog. So opposite arm goes out, opposite leg. Three, two, one, go. Just think about, you're just trying to touch the wall in front of you and touch the wall behind you with your foot. You're just trying to stretch everything out. Squeeze the glute. Halfway there. Workout complete. All right, let's do a couple inchworms. So just stand at the back of your mat. Uh, modified version, we can walk all the way out um, or you can bend over, touch your toes, lift up and squeeze, bend over, touch your toes, 
or walk out on your mat all the way, walk it back, bend your knees if you need to, stand back up. Let's do a couple more. Remember these in the good old Julian Michaels class, inchworms, they have different names, walkouts, inchworms. Last one here. Nice stretch on the back of the legs. Okay, here we go. That was our warm up. So we're gonna do um, ten goblet squats. Again, you can just do regular squat if you don't want to hold a weight. You can hold a dumbbell, and we're just gonna do a regular squat. We'll do ten, and then we're gonna do ten hamstring curls on our mat, and then ten plank shoulder taps. So the hamstring curl. Grab a heavier weight because you can always do heavier with your legs. I'm demonstrating this for you. So you're just gonna grab it with both feet and lift this way and do hamstring curls. So we'll just do 10, 10 of those. Okay. Let's start with the goblet squat. I'm gonna hold um, a kettlebell. A little bit awkward, but I'm gonna do 10. So we're just gonna start here. Ready? No timer, just you count. So knees do not cave in. None as far as you can. Got two more, this is nine. And 10, set that down, going right into hamstring curls. So we're just doing 10, 10, and 10, and then we'll repeat it for three rounds. This takes a little getting used to. Just gonna bring it up slow, squeezing the back of the legs and the glutes. All right, good job, dropping that down. So from here, plank shoulder taps. Just gonna take it for 10. And always drop to your knees. All right, and back up into goblet squat. Let's take it for 10. So I'll give you some form here. So the booty goes back, but my back is staying straight. I'm not, I'm not falling forward. Good, two more. All right, that was 10. I'll try a little bit heavier on this hamstring curl. I'll grab a 25. That is as heavy as I have. Maybe Santa will bring me some heavier weights. <laughs> we'll see. You can do this without a weight. You can really just tense up your legs and just squeeze all the way up and then take it down slow. You just don't wanna drop that on your bum. All right, that was 10. Taking it straight up into a plank shoulder tap. 10 of these. Engage that core. 
Good, that goes really fast. Okay, last round of these, 10 goblet squats. Last round, we'll go on to the next set of moves. Here we go. Good job. All right, hamstring curls. The setup takes the most time here. Really squeezing at the top. Take it down slow. All right, good job, plank shoulder taps. Just 10, last set. And 10. Good job. Okay, grab a drink, shake it out a little bit. Okay, so the next three moves. Our Romanian deadlift. So you want to take your heaviest weights that you have, if you're using weights, and you are, let me go to the side so you can see the form. So Romanian deadlift has a slight bend in the leg. It's not like a deadlift that goes straight, straight leg. <clears throat> so you're gonna go down and pick up the weight. And then I just have a slight bend in my knees flat back, bring it up, bring it down. Now my knees bend slightly, touch the ground, squeeze at the top. So you're working the back of the hamstrings. So we're gonna do 10 of those, and then we'll do some sumo squats. You can hold a weight, toes are out, 10 of these. And then we will do 10 reverse lunges on each leg uh, with or without weights. So that's the three moves. Okay. Romanian deadlift, here we go. So I got my weights. You can do this with a kettlebell. Again, you can do this with no weights. If you just pretend, take it over and bend, and then really squeeze at the top all the way up on your lift. Okay, so whatever you're doing. Here we go, 10. Good job. All right, that was 10. Let's do sumo squat. So I'm gonna grab a kettlebell. You can go hold, you know, heavy here. Toes are out, just come down. 10. So I just got a 45 pound kettlebell, which is super helpful. And then I wanted a bar uh, for Christmas. And so apparently my husband was listening and it got delivered yesterday and it wasn't in a box. It was, you know, like the box on the outside, like here is your deadlift bar. So I clearly saw it. He was like, crap, but I don't get it till Christmas. So whatever, but it's exciting. All right, I lost count, one more. Okay, reverse lunge. I'm gonna grab 20s. Uh, All right, 10 on each leg. So let's do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. So you're just gonna hold your weight, take it back. Good 
Really feeling it on that supporting leg. All right, switch feet. Take it back to the left for 10. Try not to fit, um, bend forward. <clears throat> Got a wide stance here. One more, I think. All right. Shake it up. That was one round. Now we're into two. Round two, back to that Romanian deadlift. Take a break when you need to grab a drink. <clears throat> Here we go. more. All right, good job. Woo, sumo squat pulse. Toes are out, come down, and let's do 10. Keeping that back straight, just coming straight down. One more. Ooh, Tonya, back of your wheel, get ya. Get ya, get ya, get ya. All right. Let's go into reverse lunge. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Here we go. Second set. We'll make sure that knee stays over your toe. Last one. All right, switch into the left for 10. Really about eight to 10 reps is good. If your weight is heavy enough, that'll fatigue that muscle. That's what we want. You don't have to do 50 at one time. more. And 10. Good job. Woo. Take a breather. I grab a drink. We got one more round of those. Okay. We'll probably get through yeah, one more step. Okay. All right, ready? Romanian deadlift. Squeeze at the top. Take it down, bend your knees. Using your butt and your hamstrings and core to pull you up, not your back. So you got that little bend in the knee. Oh, 
I'm keeping my core in the whole time, like sucking it in. Nobody wants any back problems from working out. So work that core too. I think one more. I lost count. Okay. Two more squat. Toes are out. And straight down. Here we go. Definitely have noticed um, lifting heavier with my legs, how much better my injured knee feels. Just building that strength up around my kneecap has been amazing. Now the stem cell injection really helped too, but it was just weak. And they were like, work your legs as much as you can. So I'm just trying to do as heavy as I can handle a couple days a week. And it has really made huge strides. Huge. Uh, let's go again. <laughs> Two more. All right. Woo. Reverse lunge. That's our last set. Ten on each leg. Let's start with the right. Here we go. I think probably these are probably my favorite move to do that has healed my knee the best because reverse lunge is a little easier on the knees than a forward lunge. So if you got knee pain, you really need to build up strength in it. All right, switch to the left. Five more. All right, good. All right, grab a drink. We're gonna finish with a couple more. Uh, okay. Woo. All right, so we're gonna do calf raises and squat jacks, just two moves. So we'll do 10 calf raises. So you can just Hold your weight if you want to. Come up on the balls of your feet 10 times. And then this will add a little cardio 20 squat jacks. And then we're going to repeat that three times, stretch, and we're done. So we just get a little leg burner today. Get your heart rate up, a little sweaty, but hopefully not, not dying. <laughs> Right, you grab my set of 25s just to hold them. Feet are shoulder width apart. Come up on your tippy toes or on the balls of your feet. Just squeeze those calves just for 10. A little more. All right, set those down. 20 squat jacks, let's go. You can also step out this way for low impact version or at the hop. And 20 calf raises. 
10, here we go. Okay, definitely don't work my calves probably enough. I mean, they get some work in the dance classes, but specific like, whew, feel a little burn in there. Good job. All right, 20 squat jacks. Woo. Come on, you can do it. My legs are tired. I'm gonna give them some protein right after this. They're gonna feel great. You're gonna feel great that you did this. Last one. All right, last round, calf raises. Always holding your core in all the time. Helps with balance too. All right. Last set of 20 squat jacks. These might even feel easy because we have no weight attached. Good job. Woo. Grab a drink. Let's get ready to stretch. Just get a good stretch in a couple legs. Watch your balance. So I'm studying balance right now in my personal training course. And uh, you know, just how critical I remember having curves, balance was an issue for older members, you know, falls are like the number one reason that people over 60, I think it is that go to the ER because they've had a fall and how that can snowball into something else. So balance was super critical um, to work into your workouts, you know, standing on one leg, like we're doing here, um, squatting on one leg, but just getting used to, you know, being able to do this because all your core is working, helps your balance, and then you have less falls. So I'm trying to start working in some balance moves um, for us here. So let's just come down, stretch out those inner thighs. There are lots of things that we can do to make aging a little better for us. It's gonna happen, but hopefully we can keep ourselves moving and out of the ERs because we have good balance and we don't have back pain because we have strong cores and we're moving. Like we just have to, just have to. Bring the arm behind, get a nice side stretch. Don't hold your breath, keep breathing. Switch elbows. Take it to the other side. All right, let's pull that toe up. Let's stretch those calves wherever you can grab toe, ankle, calf. Pull that toe up. Give a stretch all the way down the back of the leg. Switch legs. So thanks for being here. I know um, sometimes I just have a, a few, one, two, or three on actual live Zoom with me. Um, but when I go and look like a week later, I'll see that, you know, the video has been viewed 50 or 60 times. So I know people do them 
or they're at least watching them at some point later in the week or uh, some have their favorites and go back and grab them. So it just keeps me accountable to show up three times a week at a certain time to do this. And then that just keeps me disciplined to continue to work out on the off days. Um, and just a fun fact for you, I do not put on mascara and fix my hair except on Zoom days because these are going out to YouTube. But when I am not teaching class, I am uh, a little more disheveled. I'll tell you that. I just run down to my basement and get it done. Pull those arms behind you. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> brushed hair and mascara are only on Zoom workout days. Otherwise, I would not wear it. All right, keep stretching if you need it. Get 20 to 30 grams of protein in within 30 minutes. We worked some muscles today. You've used up carbs for energy to get through that workout. You need to replace them. So if you're doing food, you know, have some Greek yogurt, half a banana, teaspoon of honey, just something to get some glucose in there, but don't take in fats. Like don't go eat protein with a big scoop of peanut butter that will slow down the digestion of the protein. So just protein carbohydrates in your body within 30 minutes. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Thanks for being here.